Hey guys, I did a story uh, on Devon Bailey, Colorado Springs, who was shot in the back while running from the police uh, a few days ago. And man, did I get a slew of criticism. I mean, people are like, you're a fucking idiot. He was running from the cops. They're allowed to shoot him in the back. Well, there's some inconsistencies here that I want to go through. And I've had people comment to me saying, well, he was he was reaching and pulled his gun out at the cops. And he pulled his gun and he was he had a gun and he was pulling it and he aimed it. And people have said different things in this. And I'm like, do they even see the video? But I'm going to show you guys something in this editorial this morning that I don't know. There's some questions here. And, uh, <clears throat> but this is a follow-up. This is a, I'm not doing the same editorial. I may, it may be a little redundant in some parts because of course there, it's a follow-up and they give you, you know, what's, what it's about. But there's some new information here that's been released. And I, apparently the, uh, police body cam video is out there too now. So, but I'm going to give you the follow-up here. Devon Bailey shooting. This is from CNN. Thank you, CNN, for this story. Um, does it tell us who Holly Silverman and Teresa Waldrup from CNN? Thank you, ladies, for a great story here. I'm going to go through this as an editorial here for all of you to let you know what's going on with law enforcement across your nation. And this is a follow up to the Colorado Springs one. There's a couple of questions in here. This is the reason I wanted to do it again, because there's some things in here that I want to bring to your attention, especially with all of the criticism that I got from people saying, oh, they're running from the cops, man. They're allowed to shoot you in the back when you're running from them. Whether that's true or not, it was murder. <clears throat> the guy posed no threat. Remember, I went through police academy in Texas. I went through PC 832 in California. I know what lethal force is. I know what deadly force is. I know when it's to be applied and when it's not to be applied. So I'm not just speaking to some idiot that doesn't know what he's talking about. I have a little bit of education on the steps of use of force, uniform presence, verbal command, you know, hands on uh, hand controls. <clears throat> I know use of force steps and deadly force in my educated opinion. They killed the guy. They did not have to shoot him in the back as he was running the way he was. They killed the guy, in my, in my opinion. They, the use of deadly force was not justified here. Looking at the, the footage, the video the, from the apartment complex and all of that. <clears throat> but I'm going to give you guys something here that's going to back that, what I'm saying. The attorney for the family of a man shot in the back and killed by police in Colorado Springs, Colorado, is calling for an independent investigation into the shooting. Attorney Daryl Kilmer called for the independent probe the same day the Colorado Springs Police Department released body camera videos showing two officers firing their weapons as 19-year-old Devon Bailey ran from them. At a press conference Thursday, Kilmer said he doubts that the investigating authority, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, will conduct a proper review because of its friendly relationship with the police department. He's asking for the Colorado Bureau of Investigation and the state's attorney general's office to step in. The sheriff's office also said Thursday that it had finished its probe of the August 3rd shooting and turned its findings over to the district attorney's office. So they're already done. State law stipulates that a request for a Colorado Bureau of Investigation review must come from the CEO of a public safety organization such as a sheriff or district attorney, so the family can't and the lawyers can't make that uh, determination. CNN has reached out to the police department and the state attorney's office for comment. Reached out means they haven't reached back, apparently. The officers named by the police department as Sergeant Allen Vant Land and Officer Blake Evanson were responding to a 911 call reporting an armed street robbery. The caller reported that two black men, one with a gun, had hit him and taken his wallet. The two men were on foot and probably still at the same spot, the caller said. Land and Evanson did not respond Thursday to CNN requests for comment. In the videos, one of the officers stops Bailey and another man as they're walking in that area. He asks them about the robbery, tells them to put their hands up, and says the officers are going to search for a gun. A second officer approaches them and Bailey starts running. Yelling, hands up, hands up, the officers shoot at Bailey. Bailey falls and is seen bleeding from wounds in his back. He was shot three times in the back, once in the elbow. But the officers call for medical help searching Bailey, who can be heard moaning in the video. <clears throat> Listen very closely. 
the officers find a gun and cut his pants off to secure the weapon. I'm going to read that again. The officers find a gun and cut his pants off to secure the weapon. Bailey died at a local hospital, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office said in a release. Kilmer's office said in a statement that the video shows that Bailey wasn't a threat to the officers and there is not a shred of evidence that Devon presented an imminent threat. The family is devastated at having seen this evidence of the wholly unjustified killing of their beloved family member, the statement said. The 4th Judicial District Attorney's Office said Thursday it had received the preliminary report from the Sheriff's Office. And they said, quote in the statement, Our office takes officer-involved shooting investigators investigations very seriously, and we are committed to a thorough, fair, and neutral review, which may include follow-up interviews, additional testing, and further analysis and examination of the evidence. Now, the investigation may take up to 120 days to complete, so we got like four months <clears throat> for it to complete. Now, Bailey, the uh, r r report released by the family's attorney says that he was shot three times in the back, once in the right elbow. Van Lant has, Van Lant has been with the Colorado Springs Pol Police Department since 2008 and Evanson since 2012. So there you go. I went through it really fast for time's sake, but you can go back and read it. I'm going to put a link to the story in the description box below. All of you people that are saying, well, he pulled his gun and you see his arms go out because he pulled his gun at the cops. They had to cut his pants off to get the gun. Well, he's reaching for the gun. So they shot him. He was going to pull the gun out. They cut his pants to secure the gun. It was down near his family jewels, probably. It had probably fallen down and was, uh, it probably hit him in the, uh, the, the peanuts and he was reaching to pull it up. Maybe it was going to fall out of his shorts and he reached to hold it. Maybe he was holding it. He didn't pull it and he didn't turn towards the officers with it. You say, how do you know? Because they cut his pants to secure the gun. They shot a guy in the back who did not have the gun in his hands. They cut his pants to secure the gun. And they shot this guy while he was empty-handed. Oh, but he had a gun. They cut his pants to secure the gun. They shot this guy in the back while he was running away. All you guys can say, well, he had a gun, and he pulled the gun on the guy, and he, whatever. The threat was over. You had a guy running away. I don't care that he had a gun. I don't care that he could have pulled it on somebody else. <clears throat> Those are all hypotheticals. The facts of the case are he was running away. The gun was inside his pants. In, they cut his pants to secure the gun. He was running away. Gun was in his pants. The cops shot at him and they killed him. End of story. The threat was over. The use of deadly force is when there is imminent threat to life. Imminent. Imminent. Not, oh, in 10 minutes he might do it again, or 20 minutes from now if he gets away, he might pull a gun on someone else. Imminent threat. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Remember, be kind if you come out with all these weird words, you know, and, and start using uh, racial epithets and all this stuff. I'm just going to kick you to the side. Yes, I will. News now, you guys, but let you know what's going on with law enforcement across your nation. I hope you guys have a great Friday. We got another editorial coming later today. I'll put it out for you. <clears throat> but for this one, I just want to know what you guys think. I don't know, man. Looks like they cut his pants to secure the gun. Not that it was in his hand. Not that it was on the ground. And I had said in the other report, too, let me add real quick, that it looked like the officer dropped something. Well, apparently, I don't think it was the gun uh i think it was his gloves or something to that effect because he started putting his gloves on and i say that because they cut his pants to secure the gun let me know what you guys think news now you i'm out